Hey guys, uh, what's going on? How was your holiday time? Was it splendid? Did you receive much of the goodies? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I know I did. Uh, yeah, well, my Christmas was actually pretty spectacularly awesome. Yes, spectacularly awesome. Uh, spent time with the family, got some cool stuff, and, uh, one of the presents my brother and I got was actually an outing with my uncle and my dad to go shoot some of my uncle's weaponry, which was pretty much amazing. Uh, my uncle has so many guns, it's not even funny, uh, but don't worry, he's a police officer and a hunter, so it's all good. He's probably not going to kill you. Well, yeah, if, if you if you shoot back at him as he's on duty, maybe, but anyways. The guns were so freaking awesome to shoot. Um, it was it was insane. I I mean I was so thrilled when I found out that he had an AR-15, which is essentially the semi-auto civilian version of the M16, and that that was just so much fun to shoot. Unfortunately, I suck with it. Um, it was just cool to shoot it though, just having the experience. Uh, though I suck with it. However, I did wreck faces with the pistols. Uh, he had a Beretta 45 and a SIG 20 cal, I believe, but uh, aside from my uncle, I was definitely the best with the pistols, and I just freaking destroyed the targets. We shot some clay pigeons that were, um, they were just hanging on a post, and we shot some, uh, really old flash bulbs from cameras, and man, the, it was just so... Uh, what's the word? So, and no, and not encouraging. I don't know what the word is. Fulfilling, maybe? I don't know. It was just so fulfilling. I'm gonna go with that to actually shoot one of those from a good distance away with the pistol. And I mean, that was just it was so cool. Um, in video games, though, I would prefer a sniper rifle, just because. They're so cool to shoot from a long distance, but I, I now know that in real life I would always choose a pistol over anything because I've sucked with rifles and shotguns. Uh, yeah, we just we shot a bunch of weapons, and one of the coolest ones was the black powder, where it's like one load and like those musket type things where you gotta push the bullet down through the barrel and then yeah, but that that was really cool to shoot and. Um, I mean, there's just so much fun to feel the the trigger pull back, and then you get the recoil, and oh, it was just invigorating. But anyway, moving on. That was definitely probably the coolest things I've done on my break so far. But um, as for the stuff that I got for Christmas, other than that, I got some I got some cool stuff. But the only thing that really matters is the games. I got, yeah, no, it doesn't really, not the only thing that matters, but the games I got were pretty awesome. Um, I actually got two on Christmas Day, and they were Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Arkham City, and then I bought uh, three the day after Christmas, and they were Devil May Cry 4, Rainbow Six Vegas, and Portal 2, uh, so I'm freaking loaded on games now. And since I have so many games, I thought I'd do two Let's Plays of the ones that I got. So, hmm? Does, does that sound good? Yeah, I, I mean, it does it, it does to me, so I'm going to do it. Uh, but after I finish my Rams Shadow Let's Play, which I still have to play some in order to finish that. I haven't had much time. Uh, once I do that, and once I beat Assassin's Creed, I'll probably start a Let's Play, which will probably be Arkham City. And then once that is done, I will move on to Portal. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the other two, the Devil May Cry 4 and uh, Rainbow Six Vegas, which were the other two that I got. Um, but I, I don't know. Uh, I know Batman is a long game, and that will probably take a long time. Well, I, if it's like the first game, it's gonna it's going to be a good chunk of time. But I don't know about Portal 2. I, I never played the first one. So I don't know how long those games are, but we'll we'll see we'll see what else I do this year. Um, anyway, like 
that's the Let's Plays that I'm going to be doing this year. Also what I'm going to be doing this year is I'm going to be continuing my game new series. And I'm trying to make it look a little bit better. Uh, just look a bit better, be more creative in some way. Uh, I have a couple ideas of how to do that, but I don't know... I don't know how to implement some of them, or how long it's going to take to implement them. So it's not going to be like 100% awesome right away. I mean, one one of my things is I'll probably do a um, an animation intro, like I don't know, something like if you've seen C Nanners, well, hello, my name is C Nanners intros, uh, Shinma or anything, um, something like that. But I I probably wouldn't be able to do that for a little while since. I'm taking my first computer animation class this semester, and I'll probably, uh, probably after this semester, I'll have that animation done. But once I do, it's gonna be freaking tight. And but anyway, w let's start talking about videos and stuff. But let's let's talk about this new year that's coming up. Um, so the the new year means New Year's resolutions. And unfortunately, I never make one. And if I do, I usually forget it in like the first two days. I usually forget it by January 3rd. And I, I don't really know why people make these New Year's resolutions. I mean, I've never heard of anyone keeping them, or I, I haven't even heard anyone remembering them. Um, but, but do you guys do this? Um, I don't. I don't know. Do, do you do this? Do you remember them all year long? Do you actually fulfill your your resolution or anything? I, I mean, I'd be surprised to find someone who makes it and remembers it throughout the entire thing, accomplishment, accomplishes it. I mean, I've never heard of that ever happening, at least not of somebody I know. Um, I don't even think I've ever heard it in the news or anything. I don't know why it would be in the news, but... Anyway, for me though, it's, it's not easy for me to think of resolutions. I mean, I just don't have any idea of what I, I... I don't know what I would do. Um... I mean, um... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'll make this one. My New Year's resolution is to get 100 subscribers any way that I can. There. It's not too far-fetched, but it's a goal that is worth making. So, there it is. That's my New Year's resolution. Well, is it is it really a resolution or is it just a goal? Um, I, I don't know. I, who cares? My goal this year is to get 100 subscribers. Sounds good to me, and I just need 83 more to go. Let's do this. So there we go. That's my resolution, so to speak. Uh, what what would you guys make as your resolution? Um, are you are you going to do one this year? Um, if you are, are you gonna? Would you feel comfortable enough sharing and leave it in the comments? I mean, I would love to see what other people have as their resolutions. Um, I don't know. It, it would just be fun to see all these different ideas that people have of what they want to do in this next year. And maybe this um, this video here, if you post a comment, maybe it can even keep you accountable, or it might be able to help you remember if you can remember to come back to this video just to make sure that you stay on track with it. Um, I mean, if you like it, you can favor it, and you can always go back into that. I, I'm, well, that's kind of a promotion of like it or favor it, favorite it. But if you do that, you can go into the playlist that you have of like or favorite, and you can come to this video, and you can check every so often as to what your New Year's resolution was and how you're keeping it. But even if you don't leave a comment, just like this video, share it, or something. Uh, it would help me with my resolution, yes. But that's that's my video for you guys. Uh, I hope it was a good end of the year video. Um, it's, my, it's my first time being on track with or consistent with making videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Uh, celebrate it with your family, with your friends. And I just hope that as you move into this next year of 2012, that you will always remember to stay sexy.